everyone so it has been it seems like forever since I've been on a live um, school was starting and now we're settled into a schedule and we all understand and it just goes really easy so I feel comfortable coming on but obviously today's later even later than what I said I was gonna come on because it's like super windy and rainy here and like gloomy it's Washington I'm like used to gloomy but I started watching this show Riverdale so I got really into it it's a good show I think I'm on season three or something but anyways I lost track of time because I said I was coming on like an hour ago and it's like two hours but anyways I wanted to come on and do my nails for you guys and show you some different nail art um I ordered these punches off of Amazon um, like last week because I wanted to do this last week but I haven't really been doing anything besides helping the kids or just being lazy but um so I'm gonna use some punches to do some nail art what well, so go um and then I was also waiting for an order through Color Street because I wanted some darker colors for Halloween coming up and I'm so excited for the new Halloween nails. They're so pretty. So I did the buy three, get um, one free. I think that's a good deal for anything. So I'm going to use the black one. It's uh, midnight in, in Manhattan. And the clear ones that are between the lines. And then just another sample because it's small and I don't have to open another one. Um, Caribbean coral and I believe this one is still um, in stock I don't know Bella can you go find the stool for him please I found the stool oh well then go anyways so I'm going to turn the camera around and my dog I ordered these ones um, that is plaid reputation I meant to get the clear ones so I don't I like these ones but it's not really my style and I'm going to put them on my daughter, my oldest one, probably tomorrow or maybe in a few days because she has really short nails. So she said I can do them for her because you don't have to have long nails to put on Color Street. You can put them on acrylics, gels. Um, I don't know if the same thing is solar. I've heard that one. Um, or even some like glue on or press on nails if you want to reuse them. And I think that's a good idea. But every time I've tried that, they just like pop off. Um, because I don't put enough glue on because I like to change my nails. So, anyways, I'm going to turn it around. I have glitter in my hair. And get started. So I hope you're having a good day. Um, like I said, it's really windy and rainy and gloomy over here. But, um, let me know how the weather is where you are. All right. So, I also got this one. It's really pretty. Um, do you know the drill? I had to get it. I keep seeing it everywhere. And then this one, um, Soho over it. I have to take pictures of them because they're super pretty. Um, so, if you don't have these um, clear ones, you can always just cut them with some scissors out of the black. If you um, yeah don't have these ones and it would be like the same thing so again this is between the lines this one is midnight in Manhattan and I gotta get I already did like my base coat and stuff so yeah hold on a second I will be right back my son needs me Sorry, I, of course, I asked everybody if they were fine and ready to go. And then when I get on, he has to go potty. Anyways, okay. 
Um, let's see. So with Halloween coming up, um, I will probably do a couple more designs until my Halloween nails get here to show you guys. But this one obviously isn't going to be Halloween. Okay, I'll do it in a second. I've just been wanting to do this for a while. Um, so like I said, I got these punches. They're paper punches. They come with like different designs. Um, this one's like a star. I'm of course going to do a heart because I love hearts everything. But they have different ones. Like there's a leaf. That would be a really pretty one for um, fall. And then a bow. That looks like a four leaf clover. A snowflake. That would be good for, um, for uh, Christmas. So yeah, anyways. Alright. And I already have a base coat on my nails. I already filed them and got them all nice. So I think I'm going to start with... Um, what is this one? Caribbean Coral. And this is the one that I'm going to punch the heart out with. So I'm going to put it on my pinky and then let's see. Kind of just going with it. And I always, again, like to do the end because you can reseal it to save. So the black is what I'm going to do most of my nails with. I need one of these ones because this is my accent nail. Well, I guess I technically kind of have two accents because I'm doing the pinky one color and then that one. Oh my goodness, it is so windy. Everything was like flickering a while ago too. Alright, so I'm going to start with the pinky. You want to peel off the top. Get the second one, and then put it on your nail. I'm like super shaky today. <clears throat> I don't know if it's my allergies either, but like my throat is super like, I don't know, dry, itchy, something. Anyways. Alright, so there's my pinky. That one is done. I'm just going to leave it. I was reading this post. Someone said if you leave it tucked over for like 30 minutes while it cures, it's going to have like a longer wear time. I don't know if that's true or not, but I like to tuck it under anyways. I feel like it looks better. So then the next nail I'm going to do is my ring finger. <clears throat> oh yeah, my throat is super like dry. So I have to find one that fits. I think that one's too big. Um, are you guys going trick-or-treating? Because I keep seeing things posted like you can't go trick-or-treating around our area um, in Skagit County. But I don't know. I really want to take the kids. Oh yeah, and see this one's clear. So you can see through it. Between the lines. It's really cool. You can put it on top of any color. So that would be like a really pretty design too. So you put it on. Of course I put it crooked. And then you press it down. Um, anyways, I asked if you're trick-or-treating because I'm planning on still taking the kids around, I think. Unless I hear of like everyone not doing it around us. Because that would just be kind of weird knocking on people's doors and then like seeing the kids being all excited and then like nobody come to the door. But like the thing is, ever since I was young, you leave the porch light on. So, but then again, you put your porch light on when it's dark outside. So, I don't know. I really want to take the kids trick or treating because I think the pumpkin patch is closed and we do that every single year since we've moved up here so that's really sad but anyways okay so now I'm gonna do the rest of my fingernails black and then I will show you oh yeah and then if you take this off obviously see I'm not even thinking about it you can use that for another nail 
I think I did the wrong size for this one, so I'm going to put it on this one. It just didn't seem like it fit that well down the sides because <clears throat> my nails are really curved. Oh yeah, this one fits better. Okay, so there's that. And then you just want to keep rubbing it to get it all nice and flat. takes a while to get the little bubbles out and then you can just get the side off with your fingernail too like that and keep rubbing the bubbles out and then I gotta find a bigger one for my middle finger probably if you just kind of hold it you'll be able to see which ones fit better and I can't tell which one is bigger. Okay, I'm going to do this one. And then I'll do my other hand off camera like I always do because I don't want it to take too long. So there's this one. So do you guys like going to do anything for Halloween or are you guys just going to stay home? Um, we were thinking about having like a Halloween party for the kids um, over at my mom and dad's house because they have this really big creepy barn. <clears throat> so we were maybe going to put like all the kids friends in there and just hang out but we haven't really decided yet and it's getting kind of, well I guess we still have a month, right? Um, but yeah, we don't want to wait until last minute. So. I think we're going to talk to some of the kids' friends' parents and see what they think or if they're still going trick-or-treating. Not sure yet, but I think it'd be really fun because the barn is super scary at night. Even during the day, I still get kind of creeped out sometimes, but it'd be fun for a Halloween party, I think. And who doesn't like Halloween parties? Like, that's so much fun. Okay. So now that my main base is done, now I'm going to punch um, my little heart out with this. So you want to take the top layer off because that's super hard to get off. And then if you turn it upside down, all you do is just put it in there. And then, let's see, I'm trying to make it so I can use it for my other hand. You just punch it. That'd be cool too, I guess, if you put it down here. Maybe you can even put another color under it. That'd be pretty. So now you have to attempt to peel. The wind is so crazy today. Everything's like hitting the house. And Okay. So now I got my little heart. And I think I'm going to put it in the middle. And now you have your little accent nail. <clears throat> so there you go. I thought it was fun. I seen it on, I want to say Pinterest or something. And I've done nail art. I got to get the rest of this off. Anyways, I see nail art like this when I do my nails with like nail stamps and stuff. But this is really fun to do. Like I said, if you even do the little heart down on this side, um, you could always layer it. That'd be really cute. Or cut it and then put it underneath this one. Or just leave it blank. I don't know. That'd be cute too. But this one, like I said, I got it on Amazon. This is perfect for fall. This one's for winter. There's this one for spring. A little bow. St. Patrick's Day. A star could be for, um, uh, what is the deal? Okay, well then you need to wait. The star could be for the 4th of July. But yeah, there's a whole bunch in here and it was like, I want to say 7 or $8. But I will link it down below if you guys wanted to try this. So here it is. I hope you like it. Um, any questions, just let me know and I'll be happy to help you. Alright, see you later.